Hey, what's up, guys? Man, I know everybody's been having trouble uh, mapping stuff to Serato DJ. Um, more or less, Tractor is more mapper friendly, but I wanted to show you guys what I figured out on how to map your controller. If you have a controller that's RGB pads or colored pads like this one, how you can make it work with Serato so you get the functions that you want to DJ with and at the same time the color LEDs to light up so you were gonna map the MIDI in and the MIDI out yeah so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your Serato and you want to open it and you want to well, of course, you got to have a box plugged in, a SL box, or some form of hardware. I have my SL2 plugged in back here. The basic way of doing this is to just take your MIDI panel and to open up your MIDI panel here and basically map all the functions just by clicking on the function and clicking on the button that you want to map. And that button would automatically be mapped to Serato. And Serato will send LED out, but the problem with it is that the LED out will only be white. The only color you can send out is white. Unless your pads are, are already a different color, then, then it would show that color. For example, here on my MIDI controller, these buttons here at the bottom, and these are all red, green, blue. They could be any color. They're multicolor, but these pads can only be orange and these as well. And these push encoders have a blue light and also show me the parameter when I spin it here. You can see it'll show me what, what I'm at. So what I have these mapped to is these are my cue points and these are other functions, other functions. And But I, this is not enough for me. I want to I wanna be able to play and I, I want it, I want it for it to to show me constantly what these buttons do because when they're just off like this it's just boring the cue points are okay because these these are not red green blue these are only only orange so it's I don't really have to tweak these to make them uh, MIDI out but as for these I would really like to get all of these to change colors yeah w once you have your mapping done and your mapping is good then you want to save it so you want to go into your MIDI pref uh, your setup preferences you want to go to MIDI and you want to create a new template and you want to save it as soon as you save all your preferences and everything's nice and square you can then close Serato and now we can get into the fun stuff Go down here, go into your finder, go into your music folder, and you want to go into your Serato folder, you want to go into your MIDI folder, XML, and here is whatever, you know, whatever you created, whatever, uh, for whatever um, template you saved, it should be here. So I have a few for different MIDI controllers. So we're, the one I'm trying to do is the Electrix Tweaker. So now we want to take it and we want to open it. You want to get this program called Text Wrangler. It's free on the internet. Just look it up. Text Wrangler. Now, when you open this program, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of values that you have to set. Uh, in and out I'll show you how to do that in a bit but basically all MIDI uh, MIDI outs send uh, values from 0 to 127 depending on the number is the LED color that you'll get so we don't want it 127 is white in the case of my MIDI controller and that's why all my lights are just white but I want them to be different colors so we're gonna try and find out what the colors are by using Tractor. If you have Tractor, if not, you're gonna have to download some kind of MIDI 
or you have to look in your uh, in your reference manual to see exactly what uh, exactly what output signal is each button because each and every button sends a different signal and receives a different note so but you cannot you cannot just click it and map it you'd have to know what button it is so I use tractor to figure it out you guys can use whatever you want but I'll show you how you guys how to do it on tractor we have a cue point mapped and so the cue point I have it assigned to this button here and it seems to work fine All right, so now we want to assign a MIDI out to it. So we, as you have it highlighted, you have you uh, select the MIDI out, and it'll have it right here set at the top for you, so it's easier, so you don't have to go through the trees to to select it. So you select that; it's already learned to that note, and we already have the values and the assignments ready. Now this is where it's at right here, the MIDI range. If it's zero, it's off. If it's 127, it's white, usually. And all the numbers in between are all the LED, red, green, blue, whatever fucking color you want. That's where it's at. So what we gotta do is we gotta drag this zero up and down. So basically this will tell the light to stay on even if the cue point is not being hit. And this, the maximum is when you hit the cue point it will turn white. So what we want is we want the cue point to be on, uh, want a certain color so that we can tell what LED uh, color we're, we're changing. So as you change that note, that value, this LED will change color. So once you figure out, for example, in my case, I have it all written down here. From trial and error, I learned that one, two, three is green, four, five, six, and seven is red, and yellow, dark blue, light blue, pink, and white. Those are all the colors I can get out of this red, uh, out of this multicolored pad. So now that I went into Tractor and wrote these values down, now we can go into Serato. We can go into the XML file and we can edit it. And it's kind of difficult because it's kind of annoying the way they changed it. I've done this for Serato Scratch Live, and it's not as annoying because the 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 um the format was easier. They just had the MIDI out towards the bottom and MIDI in towards the top. But now it's all mixed in. So what you have to look for is you have to look for event output. That that means that's an output, and then here are the values: one twenty-seven and zero. Those are the ones that we'll be changing with this text wrangler program so channel one that that's the event that's the note on that's the midi in that's the command so you can see that this is a cue point all right so there it is final result this is exactly what i wanted to map and it worked perfectly as soon as I booted it, I have to just boot Serato. So the, what you gotta do is as soon as you're done with your XML, you boot Serato, you go into your setup, you go into MIDI, and then you load your uh, your preference, you, you load your XML, and it won't work. But you close Serato and reopen it, and as soon as you do, everything will be there exactly how you mapped it. Everything is perfect. So here's my cues. Play pause, blinking. Blue and green blinks. You can see here. And you can see all oh, my loops are green. My sample player. Yeah, 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 yeah.